So let's quickly take a look at how to identify some carpet types. This is a once over lightly about how to identify carpet fibers. What you're going to need to do is go to an inconspicuous place on the carpet, hopefully the corner, take a sharp pair of scissors and if you can get a little tuft of the fiber or find a little tuft of the fiber and cut it out of the carpet, you can burn test the carpet fiber. Like we said, carpet can be made of cotton. In order to test the carpet, we're going to use a lighter and I'm going to use a, a cotton string here, which is just the same as a carpet fiber. It just happens to be used a different way and determine what exactly the fiber is. Now, cotton is made from cellulose fiber, okay? Cellulose fiber is what grows in plants, so it's actually an organic fiber. Cotton is used for shirts, it's used for clothing, it's used for carpet fiber. You usually find it in bath mats. Most of the time you won't find carpet fiber in a main area, but it does exist, so let's be able to identify it. Since it comes from wood and is basically paper pulp, is what cotton is, um, it's easy to identify because if you ignite it, it will burn, and if you blow it out, it smells like burning paper. It'll also have an orange glow to the ember. So that's how you determine cotton. First of all, it'll burn. Second of all, when you, when you blow it out, it smells like burning paper, because that's basically what it is and it has an orange ember. Cotton, cellulose fiber, wood are all made from the same thing. So that's how you identify cotton. If you find that you have cotton, with all due respects, we're in commercial cleaning, all bets are off. You really can't do much. You can clean it, but because it's an absorbent material in itself, and because cotton rots, which is why microfiber is so much better, microfiber is plastic, cotton is an organic material that grows bacteria, once you wet it, there's really nothing you can do to maintain it. So hopefully it's not cotton. Jute is cotton as well. It's not, just not as highly refined. I'm not going to light the jute because jute is what used to be used in carpet backing. Now you might find some specialty carpets that are made of jute. The jute would burn just like the cotton. It would be the same test. So if you find cotton or jute, you, you really, uh, uh, you re best thing you can do there is vacuum the carpet. The second thing fiber that you might encounter, which is also an organic fiber, and it's just an absolutely fabulous fiber, one of my favorites for all types of clothing, is good old wool. Now wool is an organic fiber that comes from animals. It's animal hair, so sheep have wool, llamas have wool, etc., etc. The interesting thing about wool is, it's probably one of the best carpet fibers known to man and was used for centuries. One of the nice things about wool in a commercial building even though it's very expensive, is that it won't burn. So if you think you got wool, light it, and usually it sputters out. Wool won't burn. What does that tell you? Well, if wool is flame resistant, that means if it catches on fire, it's not going to continue. So let's do that again. Wool won't burn, and it also leaves it ash. So I'm not melting any plastic here, and I'm not burning any paper, and it burns for a little bit and it sputters out. And by the way, it smells like burning hair. If you discover you have a wool carpet you're about to work on, you need to kick back, relax, and start reading the directions on your carpet care products. Because wool, being a protein itself, does not tolerate high pH. And I don't want to get too technical on you, but here's the deal. If you think of bleach, and I hope you don't think of bleach as a cleaning compound, but if you used a bleach or a high alkaline product, which was what bleach is, on something like wool, you would dissolve the protein in the wool and you'd ruin the carpet. Wool does not take high pH detergents very well at all. You need to be using something that is neutral or slightly acidic. If you don't understand what I am saying, stop and do some research. Wool's a wonderful fiber. It's waterproof. It can be cleaned. If you encounter it, don't panic because we're going to show you some products that are wool safe. But again, you don't want to use standard carpet care detergents or any detergents on soap or soap on wool because you can bleach it or dissolve it.